It was just one of those cases that gets in your head and clears your calendar. In all my years as a disease detective, I'd never seen anything like it. What are you? And how do I get rid of you? I needed to get to the bottom of it. Why don't you talk to an epidemiologist? An epidemiologist? What? An epidemiologist? You know, a disease detective? Don't worry, I've got this one. I mean, there's a door over there. This is a different game now. Delta is really changing the rule book. As soon as you've got one escape variant of concern, you can't wait for nine days. Yep, if there's one profession we've got to know more about over the past one year, six months, three weeks and two days, not that I'm counting, it's this one. An epidemiologist is a person who studies incidence, distribution and possible control of diseases. And I've come to meet a real one. Hi Emma. Oh, hello. So you are a real disease detective. That's me. One thing to understand about epidemiologists is that we're not all the same. We come in different flavours. So I'm kind of like you. I'm the detective epidemiologist. So I spend my time going around looking for clues and working out the patterns of things and seeing what who committed the crime, so to speak. <laughs> so what's the last year been like for you? Well, it's been really, really busy, as you might think, with everything that's going on with COVID and everything. For a long time, people didn't know what an epidemiologist was and um, uh, we were kind of like a hidden profession, but suddenly with everything that's happening, people are getting more and more curious. While this pandemic stuff might be new to us, it's not the first big disease outbreak the world's ever seen. In fact, we've been dealing with them ever since humans started living in big groups. Although it took us a while to figure out how they worked. Oh, it's the miasma, the bad plague air. Here, snip this. No, not quite. But that's what people thought for a very long time, that diseases were spread by evil spirits, angry gods, or even bad scents. Viruses weren't identified until the 19th century. Although a long time before that, a few clever doctors were trying to fight plagues with things like lockdowns, social distancing, limiting shopping to one person per household and quarantining. One of the biggest leaps forward in epidemiology was brought about by an English guy named Jon Snow. Winter is coming. He stopped a cholera outbreak. Cholera is coming by realising it was caused by dirty water from a particular pump. From the pump! Cholera is coming from the pump! So what he did was he did some really rigorous studies and he managed to convince them to do something about it, which was essentially just turn off the pump. And guess what? That really helped. Of course, epidemiology has come a long way since then. Now we can actually see the germs that cause disease and we understand more about how they work. Epidemiology combines that knowledge with an understanding of statistics, health science and political and social sciences, making it a pretty interesting thing to study. In epidemiology we are studying a lot of statistics, so that's like understanding graphs and information about how and why people get sick. It is a really exciting time to be a student at this time during the pandemic because you get really instant learning from immediate circumstances of like what intervention can do for the public. And it's not just about once in a century catastrophes like COVID. Epidemiologists also help to fight health problems like obesity or heart disease while making sure we're ready for the next big outbreak. And it's good to know there are disease detectives working behind the scenes looking for some answers. 